Where's my Anastasia? Hi. Hi. She talks a lot. She's finally coming out of her shell a little bit. This is Anastasia. She's a petite, beautiful. She has a little bit of Siamese in her. You can kind of hear it in her voice, too. She, I mean, I wouldn't even say she's half Siamese, but she's got some Siamese in her. She's just got beautiful markings, very unique. And she is, she has a sad story like so many others, but I've just kind of taken to her because she was so shy and scared when she came in a couple of weeks ago. Um, she had a tumor in the mammary gland, and uh, her family took her in because of it but they didn't want to spend the money to have her um, operated on even though we said we'd work with her on payment so they left her here and said we could adopt her uh, but she's 10 years old I mean how sad I mean um, I will put a little bit more information in her pet finder link about the tumor but um, she could still live and may or may not come back she could still live a totally normal life but we have her listed as special needs because we can never say 100 percent you know sure whether or not we'll come back or not but uh, she came through the surgery fine and she's been really scared and very very depressed i mean she lost she's 10 years old lived with the same family the whole time she lost her family in her home stuck in a cage had to have surgery i mean she's been through so much that I'm so happy to see her coming out of her shell. She's purring. Even though she was so scared and depressed the last couple of weeks, whenever I'd lean in her cage, I'd hug her and kiss her and tell her it was going to be okay, and she'd start to lightly purr. So I knew there was hope for her. Come here! So this is the first time she's been out of her cage. She's probably been here about, I'm saying close to maybe three weeks this week. Um, so this is, and I put her in this strange room here. She's been kind of walking around and meowing, but, uh, I got her to come to me, and look how sweet she is. You can really see her, her true loving personality coming through. So I hope um, you will give her a chance. Um, we'd love to get her in a home again. Um, if you have any questions about the tumor and her surgery, um, please call and the office and talk to the vet or Kathy about it, and they could tell you more about what's going on um, with her. But Hi, you want to sit on my lap? Oh my goodness, I'm so happy to see you out and about. Come here, little Anastasia. Come here. Oh, honey, I'm going to find you a good home, my little baby girl. She's a very petite little girl. She's got beautiful tan markings with a lot of white uh, on her belly and her legs. Oh, I can't believe it how different she is. Oh my goodness. Literally, the last three weeks, she's just been sitting curled up in her little bed that I got her, and she just hasn't moved or anything. She's just was so depressed. So, And this is the first time we've taken her out. I've taken her out of her cage at all. So I'm really happy. I'm really happy she's feeling better, and I hope we can get you a home with somebody who's never going to abandon you again, sweet angel pie. Okay, well, this is going to be a long video because I'm just absolutely in love with her. And uh, I hope you'll take her into consideration and adopt her. She would just be a wonderful, loving, sweet companion and certainly easy to look at, too. Thanks for watching.